I just got this in. Purchased it on Amazon. Looking to, I have a ride on lawnmower, but sometimes there's certain locations around plants and uh, edges of rocks and stuff that I can't get the lawnmower over. And I just need something to uh, be able to get those corners that I can't really get well with the lawnmower. So instead of pulling out the weed whacker or something so I could trim it, I thought I'd use this in certain locations so I can just, when my lawn, right on lawnmower, I could just bypass it. Um, I have about three acres of land and this definitely will not uh, be able to mow that, but I will be able to mow the edges, will be, which would be great. Maybe a quarter of an acre of area total uh, that I'll use this with. Plus, uh, no noise, kind of relax, put your headphones on, put some music on, and then you can just walk around. So if you have a regular square, small little, like uh, let's say in New York City, their lawns, it will work well for that. And that way you don't have to uh, make any noise or anything. Um, it's simple to use. It's supposed to do really well. Got really good rating according to Amazon. So first I'm gonna do an unboxing. And then the second video on this thing will be actually using it. I'm gonna use it in a large area that I need to mow. But I saved it just for this to see how well it cuts to see if it cuts as well as my lawn mower. I've never owned anyone, I, I never owned a real mower, my first one. So this is everything that comes inside. Let's pull this out. I just part of the hand. Uh, this must be the handle you hold. The other two bars. I'll lay everything out, show you everything that comes inside the box. And that's it. This is heavy. Wow, it's pretty heavy. Box is empty. This is everything that comes inside. What is that? One, two, three, four, five pieces. Plus the manual, the screws, and the nuts. So let's put it together on the table, but let me do some measurements beforehand. I have this all at the end. It's supposed to be, was it 20 inches, 21 inches? Uh, it's a total of 26 and a half inches. The actual blades themselves are 20 inches. Yep, 20 inches. The wheels themselves. About 10 inches, the back ones. And the front ones are about six, six inches. Just the thickness of the wheels, just in case you're curious. Uh, about one and a half, it looks like. Uh, just under one and a half in the front. The blades themselves, uh, about an inch thick, inch thick. There's a blade here. Looks like there's a blade here that cuts also. Seems very sharp. Yep, very sharp. Uh, 
No scientists haven't read the instructions yet, but I believe this should probably go in there somehow. All right, let's figure it out. And I'll do uh, final measurements of total length. I mean, you know what? Let me just do the handle measurement. These are all the screws that come with it. And the nuts, six of them. Just these two lock type of things. I don't know what those are. To the instruction, this piece goes first. So I think I put this together. So let me just put them all together. So this goes here. These go here. Like that, I believe. So let me let me take down this. Uh, somehow all right let's uh, figure it out okay so the way it goes the screw this end on the outside to go in that square area there just like this as you can see and then you put this in there in the square piece Then you put the washer, the back washer, inside. And then you put the screw on. how the washer sits nicely flush get it like that okay gotta do that three more times okay all of them done those two are done so are those two all right now let's go to the top part i don't think placement of the handle whether it be this way or this i mean this way or this way really matters I think whatever way you put it at the end you'll place it depending on the whole unit itself so I'm gonna put it because it's not gonna change the structure of the actual um, things here of the actual assembly so it doesn't matter which way you put it so I'm gonna put it this way Again, you're gonna use the uh, wing nut, the square shank nut, and the washer. So I'll show you one and I'll just do the other one on my own.
Okay. Done. All right, let me put the other one on. My mistake is your game. Make sure to uh, put them both in first, since now I don't have enough leverage or enough slack to put this one in. So I'm gonna have to take this one back out so that you don't have that issue. Make sure that you put it And um, you know, I'm even gonna. Yeah, make sure you put them both in first so that you don't have the issue I just. And I'm actually gonna change it to put this on the bottom. And then put the wash on top and then screw it on. Just to make it easy on me. Okay, one more side. Okay, now they're both done. I'm hoping I didn't, let me just double check. Um, the E-rings, I don't see anything here for that, but the E-rings are these things. Let me find out where those go. Everything's done, all put together. I didn't need that, I thought I did. But it's all hand tightened. You don't need any tools. Let me measure that since I'm here. The rough estimate. Uh, roughing it, about 45 inches. To here, 45 inches from the bottom. Let me measure the wide. Uh, about 14. And the bottom, about 22 and a half. All the way in the bottom, right there, 22 and a half. If you need to know that for some reason, huh? Okay, according to the instructions, that slot there, or that opening goes inside. Looks like here. And then the E-rings. Um, yeah, the E-rings clip on here. So let me try to put one in. Make sure again, I'm facing it. I'm facing the sign away from me. So you can see the words away from me, the big wheels away from me, and then I'm gonna put it in. right into place perfect see that so now you take these even you have to slide it in there hopefully that's easy Okay. 
Wow, that's gonna be hard. I think I'm gonna need my pliers. Got it. Ah, came out again. Ah. Wow, what a pain in the butt. Okay. It doesn't stay very, it's not, it's very easy to remove and put on. It's just hard to place so that you can put it on. It went in. All right, let's do the other side. So this is it right here. You see it, see? It doesn't look like it's <laughs> I hope I don't lose it, but I shouldn't. Anyway, the bar stretch out so much, I don't think it matters. I mean, worst case scenario, you could put something else there to keep it from sliding out, but I doubt it will. The tension on the actual bar itself is so tense that um, I don't think it's gonna come out easy at all. The other side was much easier since I already knew what to expect. I did it with a pair of pliers. I just used the pliers to place it on there and then push it in and it went in. All right, so now let's put it on the floor and uh, show you the finished product. This is the finished product. This is one of two videos I'll be doing. Uh, this is just the unboxing and look at. Uh, hopefully I'll, uh, I will mention that uh, in the beginning of the show. I mean, the beginning of the video, I'll have it in text. I'm letting you know it's just a look at and an unboxing. So you can see everything you got. Pretty simple to put together. Did it by myself. So if I could do it, anybody could do it. I've never owned one of these. So it should be very easy for anybody to put this together. If I was able to put it together. And this is the cut size. So I think it goes from one to three inches. And I guess, is that the highest? No. Yep. And you have to do both sides. So I think that is the highest. Uh, let's put it at, uh, right, hopefully that's two inches. Not sure. Oh, there it is. In the back. So let me put it at two inches. So it goes from one to three. So let me put it at two. The other one. At two, awesome. Awesome, so we're gonna try it out tomorrow. Yay or nay, I'm keeping it. This is supposed to be, I think, the cut tension. Um, so I think these are adjusting screws for the cut that you want to make. And that's what you use that for. I think you also do it to remove the blades. I think you take that out also. But I know that for adjusting the cut, I guess the sharper the cut or the closer the cut. So it makes this piece right here, it looks like, move accordingly. I'm gonna leave it at the default, the way it came. And let's just move it back and forth, just to take a look. And you go back, nothing happens. You go forward, 
the cut happens. When you go back, nothing happens. When you go forward, the cut happens. This is the bagless one. You could also just wheel it back on the two back wheels. Look at that. Okay. Nice. All right. This is the unboxing of the real Scott's lawnmower. A classic. All right. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye. Some info on item. Scott's Outdoor Power Tools 20-inch 5-blade classic push reel lawn mower, May 5, 2021 cost, $149.99. Purchased on Amazon's website. Size, 20-inch. Brand Scott's Outdoor Power Tools. Item dimensions LXWXH 28 by 18 by 10 inches. Material alloy steel. Style reel only. Item weight 1 kilograms. Cutting width 20 inches. Operation mode manual. About this item. Classic Scott's 20 inch push no motor manual reel rotary lawn mower features 20 inches cutting width, 5 blade ball bearing reel, and 10 inches dual tracking wheels. Quick snap 1 minus 3 cutting height adjustment for a clean, then cut every time with this Scott's classic hand push reel rotary 20 inch lawn mower. Blades on the Scott's Classic Hand Push Reel Rotary 20-inch Lawn Mower are made of quality, heat-treated alloy steel for staying sharp longer. Ergonomic handle with cushion grip for comfort when using the Scott's 20-inch 5-blade manual hand push no motor reel lawn mower, easy, toolless assembly. Lightweight and easy to operate, this engine free, no motor, classic manual reel hand push lawn mower requires no gas or oil. From the manufacturer. Scott's Garden Yard Lawn Home House Landscape Outdoor Outside Clean Grass Push Reel Mower Manual Scott's is a well-known company worldwide for their outdoor products such as power tools, lawn fertilizers, grass seeds, mulches, pest solutions, and other products to maintain your green garden or lawn. With Scott's products, you can keep your plants healthy all year long. Moreover, Scott's equips you with planet-conscious outdoor tools to get the job done. Classic lawn mower with added features for your comfort and convenience. 20 inches real mower that is a clean, quiet, and healthy way to take care of your lawn. The Scott's Hand Push Lawn Mower is a no motor lawn mower that maintains the health of the grasses in your lawn. It cuts grass like a pair of scissors without shredding the leaves to protect it from diseases and insect attacks. This classic lawn mower has an ergonomic handle for your comfort and additional modern features for your convenience. You can maintain your lawn in a plant-conscious way by using this Scott Self Push Mower that does not require oil or gas to function. Push Reel Mower that cuts grasses while maintaining your lawn's health. 20 inches cutting width. The Scott's non-motor lawn mower has a 20 inches cutting width that cuts grass in a wide area to save mowing time and effort. It cuts grasses and weeds easily and conveniently. This Scott's classic mower prevents ripping and tearing of grass blades that help maintain your lawn's health. Easy to assemble. The Scott's wide reel mower is easy to assemble right out of the box. There is no tool needed to assemble this Scott's push reel mower. You don't need to purchase oil or gasoline when setting up this self-powered mower. This Scott reel mower 20 inches has a durable and plant conscious design that gives you great value for money. Precision blade technology and ball bearing reel. The Scott's manual mower has a five blade reel that is made with heat treated steel. This precision blade technology is for accurate, quick, and clean cuts in your lawn. It is coupled with smooth ball bearings, so the blades spin efficiently as you push the mower across your lawn. Quick snap height adjusters. The Scott's classic mower has quick snap height adjusters that give you quick and easy cutting height adjustment of one minus three and a snap. This lever is located near the rear wheels for your convenience. You can now cut grass at your preferred height to maintain your beautiful lawn. Scott's push wheel mower that reduces mowing time and effort. 
you can now enjoy using the plant conscious and classic lawn mower with some upgraded features to make cutting grass easier and more convenient. Scott's push mower is specially designed to reduce mowing time and effort to maintain the beauty and health of your lawn. It is very maneuverable and easy to use because of the modern innovations added to this classic lawn maintenance equipment. Product details. Size colon 20 inch. Date first available, March 13th, 2021. Manufacturer, Scott's. ASIN, BO8U7Q8.